Hello, I'm Dr. Ross, the urologist who practices in Chicago and focuses on prostate cancer. This video is a tutorial to decipher a prostate cancer genomic classifier test report. And we're gonna provide an overview of each section and highlight the differences between the biopsy and radical prostatectomy test reports. The first page of the test report consists of three sections. The first being patient demographics, as well as their clinical and pathological details. The second being the decipher genomic score and its interpretation. And then finally, relevant risk estimates for that patient. On the top of page one, we find the patient's basic demographic information, specimen details, the name and address of the ordering physician, and then finally, some relevant clinical and pathological details. The Decipher Biopsy Report will include the NCCN risk category, while a Decipher Radical Prostatectomy Report will include pathological features from the surgical specimen, as well as the patient's most recent post-treatment PSA. In the Decipher Genomic Score section, you will find the Decipher Risk Bar on the left labeled with the Decipher Score. As you know, this cipher score is determined solely by the genomic characteristics of the tumor and not based on clinical or pathological parameters. The decipher risk score is a number that goes between zero and one, and it's classified as one of three decipher genomic risk groups, low, intermediate, or high, based on predefined cut points of 0.45 and 0.6. Although there are three risk groups, the Decipher score is a continuous variable. So while a patient with a score of 0.68 and another with a score of 0.98 would both be classified as having Decipher high-risk tumors, the patient with the 0.98 Decipher score has a tumor with a higher risk of metastasis. The Decipher risk score reflects the patient's risk of developing distant metastasis and has been validated in over 70 published studies and trials. Currently, it's also being used as an integral biomarker in multiple prospective NCI-sponsored trials. On the right side of the Decipher Genomic Score section, you'll find information from clinical studies that are relevant to the particular patient based on their Decipher Genomic Risk Group and their clinical presentation. This section, also includes the newest evidence from analysis of multiple phase three randomized controlled trials. Notably, these studies have shown consistent findings. Those individuals with higher genomic risk scores have better outcomes when therapy is intensified, whereas those individuals who have tumors with lower genomic risk have a favorable prognosis with less intensive therapy. In the biopsy report, the interpretations and findings are those most relevant to the patient's NCCN risk group and decipher genomic risk group. In the radical prostatectomy report, the interpretation is one that is most relevant to the patient's postoperative PSA findings. That is to say, whether the patient has a persistently elevated or rising PSA, or if the PSA is undetectable. At the bottom of page one, you'll find the section containing risk estimates relevant to this patient. These prostate cancer risk estimates were calculated based on thousands of prostate cancer patients treated with the standard of care therapies that had available decipher scores and which have been calibrated to large cohorts of thousands of patients with long-term outcomes. Note in the biopsy report, the metastasis and prostate cancer mortality risk estimates are calibrated to the patient outcomes treated with definitive therapy appropriate for the patients within the same NCCN risk groups. The risk of adverse pathology at radical prostatectomy is the risk of the tumor harboring one or more of the following high-risk findings after surgery. Gleason grade group three to five disease, pathological stage 
T3B disease or higher, including lymph node involvement. And this will be only displayed for patients with NCCN low or favorable intermediate risk disease. Please note that these risk estimates are computed based on outcomes of men treated with surgery or radiotherapy. This is because the available data from clinical trials of patients managed with active surveillance, patients that have been followed without any treatment whatsoever, reflect oncological outcomes after receipt of delayed therapy, as most patients in these studies receive some form of treatment during trial follow-up, either for disease progression or based on patient preference. Also, given the long natural history of prostate cancer and long follow-up times required to measure oncologic risk, the risk estimates we can provide our patients today reflect outcomes from definitive treatment for low, intermediate, and high-risk patients that were considered standard of care in the past. Therefore, it's important to counsel patients that the risk estimates do not necessarily take into account the outcomes we can deliver for our patients today, given some of the medical advancements in standard of care treatments. In the radical prostatectomy report, we find the risk of metastasis and prostate cancer-specific mortality. These risk estimates are based on whether the patient has an undetectable PSA or whether the decipher report is being generated on a patient who has a persistently elevated or rising PSA. The first section on page two includes a risk comparison section, which includes an infographic comparing this patient's 10-year risk of metastasis with patients that have similar clinical and pathological features in the Decipher database. The interpretation language describes the distribution of Decipher low, intermediate, and high genomic risk and identifies this patient's percentile ranking in comparison to others within the subpopulation. In the biopsy report, the graphic is comparing the patient to all patients from the Decipher database within the same NCCN risk group. Similarly, for the radical prostatectomy report, the distribution of Decipher risk group and patient percentile rankings are provided compared to the patients in the Decipher database with similar adverse pathologic features and PSA findings. The next section on page two includes figures designed to provide information about post-radical prostatectomy treatment timing and intensity from published studies. The figure on the left shows the five-year risk of metastasis after post-operative radiation when radiation was initiated at different PSA levels. This helps to discuss the timing of radiation therapy with patients and highlights how outcomes differ between decipher high and low risk patients when we start postoperative radiation at different PSA levels. Notably, decipher high risk patients have much better outcomes when earlier radiation is employed, whereas decipher lower risk patients have favorable outcomes even with delayed radiotherapy. The figure on the right shows the five year risk of long term salvage hormone therapy after treatment with radiation alone when radiation was initiated at different PSA levels. In this example, for a patient with Decipher high risk score, it is clear that the risk of exposure to long-term salvage antigen deprivation increases with delayed radiation. At the bottom of page two, you'll find a more detailed version of the relevant clinical findings that are located on page one which are specific to this patient's Decipher genomic risk group and clinical presentation. As a reminder, the interpretation language in the BIOPS report is based on the patient's NCCN risk group and Decipher genomic risk group, whereas in the radical prostatectomy report, it's based on the patient's postoperative PSA findings, such as whether or not they had a persistently elevated or rising PSA. The last page of the report is really the fine print. Here we describe the technical details of how the Decipher prostate test is performed, how the risk estimates 
shown on page one of the report were calculated, the intended use of the test, and we also show the confidence intervals around the patient risk estimates, which were displayed on page one. Finally, all the references are included at the bottom of the page. Thank you again for your attention as we reviewed the Decipher Genomic Classifier Biopsy and Radical Prostatectomy reports. In my own practice, use of Decipher has allowed for more efficient and effective management decisions for my patients. I believe that the new reports will enhance the discussion between provider and patient about their individualized risk and allow for a better decision-making process about the best management for those patients.